morning ish it's definitely five o'clock already but it's sunday and i splurged today i bought a well ignore that but i washed my truck so that really stands out now that's going to the body shop to get fixed that we're not going to talk about how that happened but i washed my truck today and i bought a thousand dollar truck toolbox and i had a really hard time spending that but one it's all they had and two weather guard does make a really good toolbox because they are a really hard to break into and b they are um they seal really really well and i know it's not that big of a deal but i also really like that they've got those d rings on the back uh that'll be really really nice wow uh, so without further ado we're gonna get these put in i got a uh transfer pump as well but uh yeah it'll be be nice to have this the gmc of course has a fuel tank and transfer or got a transfer tank and toolbox in it uh but it seems like more times than not and there is a freaking i know that's a cat i thought it was a raccoon and it was about to die but uh more times than not i don't know the gmc was supposed to just be a farm truck and uh my f-250 was supposed to stay nice and never get used on the farm yada yada well that was that was very short-lived so um it's not what has happened at all and uh i don't know i use it as a farm truck it'll be nice this spring because we'll be able to take the gmc and my pickup and have 200 gallon of fuel when we start the day so I mean, 200 gallon is nothing, especially in like the Steiger. 100 gallon will fill pretty well the Magnum. That's enough fuel to plant for a day. Yeah, I would have a Thunder Creek or something, but I just, I refuse to spend that much on a fuel trailer. So I don't know, it would be extremely handy, but I just can't, I can't justify that in my head. So anyhow, I need to fix this board because the door catches on it. Plenty of, plenty of projects around here. Never a shortage of that. Well, most importantly, we added a sticker for more horsepower. I kind of butchered the seven on it, but all things considered, every one of those letters is an individual sticker, and uh, well, I'm gonna count that as a win as a whole. Uh, got the fuel tank in, transfer pump, toolbox, Milwaukee pack out. And I sprayed some bed liner in here because it was long overdue. As you can see my aluminum bed. Well, it's it's had some casualties. So next, we are cleaning out this filthy thing. Got everything out of it. Uh, one of my favorite things about this truck, there's no carpet. It is all whatever that is. So we're going to sweep it. We're gonna wipe it down. We're gonna put 11,000 air fresheners in it and uh, make it clean. I need to get this seat reupholstered. It's starting to, where I slide in and out of the truck all the time, it's starting to kind of not be um, like it should be, I guess. I don't know. It is a little bit tight getting this truck in here, but it does fit. We've got this shed filled clear to the brim, but everything fits. I may actually be getting the combine out today to go pick up, well, not to pick up, but to get my old bean head off the trailer so I can set the new bean head on it. And, uh,. We need to get the old one fixed so we can sell it. I've got all the parts to do it, but if somebody wants to buy that draper head, it's a 2162, um, 40 foot. I've got all the parts I need to fix it and I'll make you a heck of a deal if I don't have to fix it because we flat out don't have time and I wanna get rid of it. So make me an offer. So much for cleaning my truck up. I uh, have it clean and smelling good in here. 
And then they dumped off three or four loads of uh, turkey litter today and they asked if I would push it up for them so they had more room to dump here because it gets real greasy out in the field. This is on state ground. So, uh, I don't know, I think I got, I got three or four semis delivering it right now. They should get us about 400, 500 ton today dumped out here. But, uh, cleaned the truck up and now I'm in here smelling like turkey litter, so. I also went to town and uh, got engine oil and a filter for this truck and holy crap, I about fell over. Um, for four gallons of 5W40 oil and a filter, and this wasn't like Schaefer oil or anything like that, it was like Rotella or I mean, not even what I would consider expensive engine oil. It's like 170, 180 bucks. I think the last time I took my truck to go get an oil change, it was like 80 or 90 of that. That was ridiculous. I mean, it's gotten to the point it's cheaper to just take your vehicle somewhere and get it changed. The only reason I don't take it somewhere is I just don't have time to drop it off, get it in somewhere. I need to change it before I go to Louisville, so. Just figured I'd do that real quick today, but holy cow. That's ridiculous. 170, 180 bucks for an oil change? Jesus. And then Michael called me and said that uh, one of the grain bins, he, he's hauling corn right now. And uh, he said that grain quit running out. It's time for the sweep. So it's a 36 foot bin. And uh, actually one of you viewers um, was watching a video from Willinga, who makes grain vacs. He works for them, and they are going to bring out a uh, grain vac, it sounds like, for us to try out. So I'm pretty excited about that because it's a 36 foot bin in diameter, and the biggest bin sweep I have is 24 foot, so that means we do a lot of scooping. And that's not that fun because that's like three or four semi loads worth of corn to scoop. Uh, nobody nobody wants to do that so um, I'm actually seriously interested in trying their vac out and uh, potentially buying a um, stationary vac that's electric um, for the grain bins that I'm building that way I could put in a um, put in a grain dryer continuous flow and use that to fill the bins so I'm not sure um, and we'll have to do some pricing, do some figuring. I've already got a lot in these bins. You know, a guy can only do so much at once and I'm not a fan of borrowing money right now. Um, interest rates being what they are. Um, I'm not opposed to it if it makes sense. As long as I can see that it pencils out and pencils out well, I don't care to spend money, but it's gotta make sense. I'm not a huge fan of borrowing money at current interest rates. So anyhow, we're just kind of going to do what we can within our means, but it may be within our means. It's going to have to price a dryer, price a wet bin, and price an air vac. It would be very nice to be able to dry corn, but it's also expensive to dry corn. LP is not cheap, so we'll see. But uh, I think Michael actually might swap me jobs. I got some stuff to do around the farm, some taxes, some equipment shuffling. And this is actually his turkey litter. It's not my turkey litter. I was just, I happened to be closest when they called and said they were delivering it. So, uh, he rented his own ground this year, which I'm really happy about because he's got some skin in the game. Uh, there was some ground up for rent. He asked me, uh, which I wasn't even entirely sure where it was at. He said it was in the area. I said, well, as long as you can make a pencil, sure. So he rented a piece of ground um, of his own so he's got some skin in the game now and uh, I'm really glad because now he's not just working for me he's working for himself too and uh, I don't know that makes a guy have some pride uh, having something of your own so I'm glad that he's got that but uh, anyhow headed back gonna try and swap out draper heads today but 
Fingers crossed that the combine even starts because my bet is on probably not. Well, I'll be damned. I was complaining about uh, the combine maybe not starting and Michael's already got it out. So apparently we will get that done today. He's got that out, got the excavator out, got the sprayer out. Had to get it all out. Now he's moving the bean head. So he's three steps ahead of me right now. And I love that about Michael. I don't have to tell him what to do. He just knows how to do it and he does it. And that's worth a lot because having somebody that you don't have to hold their hand is, well, that's, that's pretty awesome. I don't care if I'm gonna be in the combine two seconds, I still have to air the seat up. It drives me nuts. Change of scenery. I miss this. I'm not gonna miss this draper head, but I miss this. Parking brake. Shut up. I don't miss the Pro 700 though. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hate this thing. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is we shot a raccoon out the back of the combine. The bad news is the auger won't fold back in. I folded it out. Anytime I get the combine out, I always fire up the roger and kick the auger out. And it gets all the bird nests out of it and all that. Somehow it broke the wire going out there. I think that one's to the light. No, that one's to the camera. Anyhow, broke that, no big deal. But the damn thing won't fold back in. And I don't know why. Um, it's trying to. It almost acts like the cylinder's airlocked or something. Because you can hear the solenoid kick on. You can see the hoses get tight. And if you watch that little watch me do at the end of the cylinder it moves just a little bit left and right so it's trying to suck it back in it's like it's airlocked or something in the cylinder so i don't know and then the last farm we cut beans was double crop beans on reclaimed ground which is a really rocky ground and uh, i just dumped the rock trap and yeah i'm i'm thankful to have a rock trap those would not have been fun going through the combine so anyhow um if you look up in there, you can see, which yes, my feeder house chain is really low. It needs actually replaced. Um, but if you look right there, some people would call that your, that diagonal bar right there. Some people would that call that your accelerator roll or whatever, but it's basically, um, there's a gap when this is folded up right there and that gap um if there's a rock or something in theory it's not supposed to make it past that roll it's supposed to push it down into this trap which it did with three four five six six rocks that didn't go through the combine which makes you wonder how many did but hey that's six less going through the rotor and they don't make a great sound when they do that so um, that's served its purpose but the damn auger i just don't know I'm scratching my head on that one might try and take a wrench and just barely loosen the hose maybe and then try and fold it in so maybe it'll force the air out i know that's gonna make a mess but i don't know what else to try I don't know. I also know I hate Pro 700 monitors. If I ever get a newer Magnum tractor, I will take the Pro 700 out and put an ag leader in because I refuse to listen to them. The biggest piece of shit case ever made. Well, there's the new Draper. I'd love to have the combine to go with it. Loading. Well, I promised my wife I'd take her to a Valentine's Day dinner tonight. But uh, first, I've got to push up all this turkey litter. I'm going to have 11 loads of it today, about 30 ton a load. It's sketchy every time I watch this. Every single time. We've done the smart thing and just hired it out rather than doing it ourselves. Uh, they're dumping it in the field for a good price. It's more than what we buy it for but they're dumping it in the field for us so i'm not complaining at all um 
very happy to have it. So more than happy to pay for it as long as we can keep getting it. But you can see here how this is sketchy because it's a lot of weight up in the top end of that thing. And it, uh, as you can see, doesn't always like to come out. So he's edging forward and it's starting to move, but it's sketchy. I mean, it just is. It's not if you turn one over, it's when, but we're getting her done. At least he is. I'm just pushing it in a pile.